words, but I won't let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to the second installment of my New York City vlog series. The first one which would be the Louis Vuitton X Nike Air Force One by Virtual Upload Exhibition vlog should be up already and today's video is going to be all about the Fendace collection. I know it's a little late but I stumbled across the Fendace pop-up in Soho and while most of you will have already seen parts of the collection and chances are some of the items are already sold out, I still thought it might be interesting for some of you guys to yeah, basically come along with me to the pop-up store. The store was separated basically into two sections. The left-hand side was the Fendi side of the collaboration and on the right-hand side of the store the Versace side of the collaboration was displayed. And after checking out the pop-up store I also went to the Versace boutique also in Soho where they still had some items left in stock. So before I ramble on any further let's get started and also if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing that would mean so much to me. So if you're somewhat familiar with my style and taste in both handbags and clothing items, chances are you might be able to tell which part of the collaboration was my favorite. And if you aren't, it's not the one that we're currently looking at. So yeah, the Versace side of the collaboration was definitely way more out there than the Fendi items. Although of course the entire collaboration collection was on the more logo heavy side, which I mean is fun to look at, but not particularly something that I would be going for. Although if you're into colors and into your logos and into somewhat of the gaudiness of Versace, this collaboration would have been right up your alley. You try to turn me into somebody else. But it will ricochet. I won't let it bite. I will have more of the Versace side of the collaboration later on in the video because as I said I also went into the Versace boutique where they did have quite a number of items still on display and for sale. But yeah here we're looking at the Fendi side of the collaboration and the Fendigraphy bag is so cute. Also the Fendi first. I mean still very logo heavy and with the like gold embroidery stuff definitely reminiscent of the Versace influence and also these pants right here, so cute. I'm definitely more leaning towards the Fendi side of the collaboration because it seems a little more refined and also, yeah, the attention to detail is amazing. Look at these buttons. Plus, it's not that in your face when it comes to colors, although, okay, the white and pink and gold combination is a little out there. Also these bags are so cute. These like, I don't know what the official Fendi name of these would be, but it's basically like the Sac Plat by Louis Vuitton. And of course the Fendi Peekaboo would have been a part of the collection as well. So beautiful, but again, still on the more out there side. I'm repeating myself, I know, and I know what I got myself into. It's just not a like collaboration and design that I would personally be going for, but it was still so fun to look at. When it comes to purchasing part of the collection for myself, I was actually somewhat interested in buying a piece of jewelry. I know costume jewelry and I've talked a number of times about how it's not really that worth it, but I would have actually loved to buy a pair of earrings, but I basically went into the pop-up store and the Versace boutique without knowing that much about the collection. So I basically had no idea of which jewelry items they had initially been in the collection. Plus at the time that I did check out the boutique, some of the items were sold out already and I would have purchased a pair of earrings, but the only earrings left weren't really that much my style or like really chunky and heavy, I would imagine. So I didn't end up purchasing anything.
And while I already checked out the Fendi pop-up store, I also went into the Versace boutique where they did have a lot of Fendace items still in stock. I mean, double denim, anyone? Not for me, but again, super fun to look at. And yeah, these are the matching pants, some kind of furry jumper and super colorful like satin or I'd hope silk tops. The black swimsuit is actually quite cute. As a matter of fact, I did wear a black swimsuit, but like without logos or anything. I think I bought it at Primark for like five bucks or something like that. As a bodysuit with a pair of leggings and like a lacy black cover up, you will definitely see that outfit in, I guess, some of my Instagram pics and reels, but also in the New York City vlog, which I have yet to edit. And it's quite a daunting task because I did film so much, like besides the luxury stuff, but yeah, besides the points. As for the denim coat with the pink fur collar, I think I'm better off not commenting on what I think about that, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. In general, like, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Fendace collection in general? Do you prefer the Fendi side of the collection or the Versace side? Did you purchase anything from the collaboration? I would love to know. But yeah, as you can see, and I was really surprised about that, as well the Versace boutique in Soho still had a lot of items from the collection left. I would even go as far as saying that they basically had the entire collection on display maybe apart from the jewelry items as I said. The pop-up store basically had almost nothing in terms of jewelry and the Versace boutique also was pretty limited in jewelry. I guess a lot of people that weren't really that much of a fan of the ready-to-wear which I would say I get <laughs> because as I said very colorful, very logo heavy, very out there. I guess a lot of people that did want to get at least one piece of the collection ventured into the more affordable items, which would have been the costume jewelry pieces or like small SRGs, toiletry cases, um, scrunchies and stuff. So my best guess or like my theory would be that these items flew off the shelves pretty early on. I also checked out the Fendi boutique while I was in Soho, but they had nothing left of the Fendace collection, like literally nothing, nothing on display. The only thing that like reminded us of the Fendace collection was the window display, but no items like on the shop floor. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I was able to give you a lot of eye candy in particular, if you didn't get a chance to check out the Fendace collection in person. Again, I would be super interested to know if you bought something from the collection. If you did, please share that in the comment section down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing. I would love for you to stick around for my upcoming videos. There are still a number of New York City vlogs to come. Also check out the video that I already posted, which was the Louis Vuitton X Nike by Virgil Abloh exhibition. Yeah, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos and take care until next time. Bye. When I pull up in that brand new thing with the iced out chain and the new chinchilla And you ain't for the heart when you walked on the floor, you a real gal Batman killer But you ain't never did with the boys in the band, with the bands in the box like Dilla Love it when you heal up, will up, bring it back, come rewind Touch to have your X-Men back on your line But I'm a real player, never act like you're mine Leave you disappointed, you gon' act like you're fine And I see it all the time, so it's best I let my one dance go to the next man Cause I ain't even gotta be yo man, bitch I can still leave here as the best man Yes ma'am Yeah, you can talk to me boy and you can move it up close but that's as far as it goes i'm not your baby I'm